Recently, I came across a health condition called osteoporosis while researching common health issues for this project. And yes, I'd heard it before, but I'd only known the Korean name. Fun fact, Korean women have about a 38% chance of getting osteoporosis, and I didn't really know what it was exactly. Basically, osteoporosis is when your bones are more porous than they should be, and therefore really weak and brittle, so they break and fracture a lot more easily. Apparently, sometimes just sneezing or bumping against something can break a bone if osteoporosis is severe. It's a lot more common in middle-aged women because of hormonal changes during menopause, and white and Asian women are more susceptible as well. Some long-term effects of osteoporosis are back pain and loss of height. Loss of height happens because sometimes your bones are so weak that the vertebrae get fractured and collapse in on themselves just because of your body weight and gravity. Not to mention the pain, suffering, and loss of mobility that comes from breaking or fracturing a bone, especially your hip bone. And once you break a bone, you have a higher chance of breaking another. Nobody wants that. Nobody likes back pain, or loss of height, or broken bones. And that's why you should exercise. No wait, please don't leave. When someone's about 30, they hit their peak bone mass. This is when your bone is at a stensis, which is fun, but that also means that your bone mass will start declining from now on. Not fun. So it's important to build up bone mass around the age of 20. Also, osteoporosis medicine isn't cheap. Pretty expensive. Again, I don't think anybody wants that. Some ways you can prevent osteoporosis is getting more calcium through food or supplements to help make your bone grow denser but you can also maintain healthy bones through exercise. If you're like me before this project, you may be wondering about how exercise can increase bone density. Bones are made up of tissue, just like muscles, and they get stronger with use. When there's force put on the bones, it causes the bones to increase the amount of calcium in it. That's why weight-bearing exercises like walking and running or resistance exercises like weightlifting help the most with bone health. Other exercises like yoga, pilates, swimming, and biking can also help, but not as much. But why should you exercise? You could also get supplements or eat healthier. Well, supplements can cost a lot, especially if you plan on taking it every day. And healthier diets can cost more as well. Meanwhile, exercise is free. If you, for example, just commit to walking or running for around 30 minutes a day for three to four days a week, you can decrease your chances of getting osteoporosis by ensuring better bone health. But like with everything, exercise isn't a perfect solution. It can't completely prevent osteoporosis. It's usually recommended that you also get a healthy amount of calcium and vitamin D through food or supplements along with exercise. But if you are just going to do one or the other, exercise is probably the better choice for the aforementioned reasons. Unless you have concerningly low bone density, then you should probably talk to your doctor. Overexercise is also a thing. If you exercise too often without letting your body take a break, you can actually end up harming yourself. Overexercise can lead to feeling anxious and depressed, having low motivation, overuse injuries, and even lower bone density, which is the opposite of what we're going for. If this ever happens to you, take a break for a week or two and talk to your doctor if it lasts for longer than that, but try not to push yourself too hard in the first place. Now, go walk around your neighborhood or something. I didn't make this video for nothing. Hey, that rhymed.